In this video, we're overclocking the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Touring graphics card all the way up to 2025 megahertz in five minutes or less using the Asus GPU Tweak 3 software tool. I'll speed run you through the OC settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is definitely not the whole picture to overclock this graphics card. So don't just outright copy these settings and apply them to your GPU. If you want to learn how to overclock this graphics card, have a look at my longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's get started. Open the Asus GPU Tweak 3 software tool. This software tool provides us with access to all the parameters exposed in the NVIDIA API. We specifically want to adjust the parameters that impact the GPU Boost 4.0 technology behavior. GPU Boost 4.0 is the frequency boosting technology that's embedded in all NVIDIA Turing graphics cards. Set power target to 100%. This ensures the GPU Boost 4.0 algorithm will use the maximum available power consumption headroom. For the GeForce GTX 1650 GPU, that's up to the TDP of 75 watt. Note that unlike on high-end graphics cards, the GPU does not monitor the actual power consumption from the VRM. Instead, the GPU driver estimates the power based on internal information such as current VID, GPU load and memory controller load. Set GPU voltage to 100%. This enables the over-voltage feature present since GPU Boost 2.0. Overvoltage refers to the extended range between the reliability voltage VREL and maximum overvoltage VMAX as specified by NVIDIA. The reliability voltage VREL is the highest voltage the GPU will safely run at without harming the long-term lifespan. The maximum overvoltage VMAX is the highest voltage NVIDIA will allow the GPU to run at as it may hurt the lifespan. This extended voltage range can be enabled or disabled by NVIDIA board partners in the graphics card vBIOS. If enabled, users like you and I can access the higher voltage by accepting the associated risks. Set GPU boost clock to 1745 plus 125. This offsets the entire GPU voltage frequency curve by 125 MHz over the standard curve. The voltage frequency curve describes the relationship between a frequency and the voltage required to run that frequency. The NVIDIA Turing GPU has 128 distinct, individually adjustable points on its voltage frequency curve. On this GTX 1650, the VF points range from 435 MHz at 450 millivolt to 1965 MHz at 1244 millivolt. If you have a lot of time, you can manually tweak each of the 128 points, but it's a lot of work. Set memory clock to 14,000 plus 1,998. This increases the GDDR6 memory frequency from a default 1,500 MHz to 1,750 MHz. Set GPU temp target to 90C. This ensures the GPU Boost 4.0 algorithm pursues aggressive overclocks up to the maximum allowed temperature. Then click Apply Settings. To ensure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. With our GTX 1650 now running 3% higher GPU frequency and 17% higher memory frequency at 2025 and 1750 MHz respectively, we see the highest performance in all benchmarks. The performance increase ranges from plus 4.38% in 3 Mark Night Raid to plus 9.29% in Geekbench 5 Vulcan. When running Furmark GPU stress test, the average GPU clock is 1576 MHz with 0.738 volts, and the GPU memory clock is 1750 MHz with 1.36 volts. The average GPU temperature and GPU hotspot temperature is 62 and 74.1 degrees Celsius. The average GPU power is 74.77 watts. When running the GPU-Z render test, the maximum GPU clock is 2025 MHz with 1.031 volt. And that's it. Thanks to my Patreon supporters for supporting my work and thanks to you for watching. See you next time. 